Ho, ho, hail brothers and sisters. My name is Captain Meatshield. And Merry Christmas. Hope you're all uh, having a nice day with the state of the world in the state that it is. Yeah, that's what we're going to go with. <laughs> I think with uh, this year finally coming to a close, I think we're all really eager to see the end of it. But I know that a lot of us are all still kind of not in, you know, kind of particularly good places. You know, I know a lot of us over in the UK especially are all kind of suffering with, like, new lockdowns, especially here in Wales, which is really kind of putting a damper on things for a lot of people. Uh, I know I personally don't really have much Christmas spirit this year. This is probably as festive as I'm going to get. It's just some stupid bloody hat. But <laughs> I am looking forward to just kind of spending today doing as little as I possibly can, and I wish the exact same for you. I hope you're all spending the day with those you care about, getting to do just fun stuff, get to sit around, relax, and enjoy some good food, enjoy some good drink. If you partake in the tipple, I certainly am. I mean, it's, what, half one when I'm recording this, and I think, yeah, it's gone midday, it's Christmas day, I'm going to get tanked. <laughs> so I hope you're all going to be having a wonderful day today. I am looking forward to just kind of spending the day just chilling and, yeah, having good food and not really having to worry about doing anything, really. I think it's going to be nice to just kind of have a day to try and forget about what the world is going through at the moment and I know that's going to be difficult for a lot of people so I do hope that wherever you are whatever you're doing however you celebrate things at this time of year you get to make the most of the day and spend it doing whatever you might enjoy and look forward to a new year and hopefully a fresh start on things now I'm going to keep this video fairly short but with regards to the whole new start sort of vibe I do have something that I want to let you guys know about and that is that as of it will be January the 4th I think yes as of January the 4th I'm gonna be taking a break from gaming videos for a bit I have been feeling a little bit of the burnout and it occurred to me a while ago that I'd never really taken a serious dedicated holiday from things here you know there have been some instances where I've kind of had like a week of no videos or something like that, you know, either due to kind of PC troubles or moving house, that kind of thing. But I've never really given myself a time to sit down and just not worry about stuff and to kind of just take a bit of a breather and a break. So I want to do that. And I think now is probably the best time to just say, you know, what's going to be happening. Videos for this week and next week will be going out as of no as normal, but from Sunday next week, uh, the channel will be fairly quiet. I'll still be doing music uploads uh, as and when those are scheduled to go, and I've got stuff that I will be working on in the background. I've got some new things that I want to be doing. Uh, I'm also looking to invest in some new equipment, like I'm looking at new cameras and... Um, I want to play around with kind of like my audio recording setup and see if I can do some stuff with... I've got another microphone that I haven't used in a very long time. I want to see if I can get that uh, sounding a little bit better. I think it might improve the quality of things a little bit. And I've got a couple of little... You know, I've got a side project thing in mind that I want to try and do something with, so I'm going to be playing around with that and just kind of working to improve things behind the scenes a little bit. Maybe do... A little bit of kind of rebranding, kind of tidy up, kind of the the channel overall. Not going to be like kind of removing anything or, or anything along those lines. I just want to kind of have a time, have a bit of time to just do some maintenance because obviously maintaining all of this along with my day job is a lot of man hours, and I want to make sure that I've got things in a state where I want them to be because they they remain kind of. I don't want to say stagnant, that kind of implies a negative sort of connotation to it. 
but not much has changed as far as the way I go about doing things. And as far as the kind of production side goes and the, the kind of style of everything that I do, that's fine. I, I quite like the way that things run and how I go about doing things. I'm comfortable with where things are. But I just want to make some slight improvements and give it give everything a little bit of a tweak, if you know what I mean. I also want to use the time off, essentially, to you know kind of work on some uh, metal cover stuff and some other music stuff because I've been having some new ideas for some more original music. So I want to try and take some time to get back into vocal practice and some more dedicated guitar practice and that kind of stuff. I want to get myself back into some of the basic stuff that I should be doing on like kind of a daily, other daily basis. So that when I come back to doing things kind of more full time, I've got a bit more of a, you know, kind of solid foundation under me and I can try and maintain some of that stuff. Because I have been letting a lot of stuff kind of slide and I feel for myself at the very least, I'm feeling that it's starting to show. Uh, like I, I barely pick up my guitar between doing metal covers. I have been wanting to do more vocal stuff, but I haven't been taking the time to practice, so I'm not confident in doing anything in regards to that. And I just want to take some time to refresh and recharge, and you know, feel a little bit better in myself. Uh, I know winter is always kind of difficult for a lot of people, people who suffer with seasonal depression, that kind of stuff. I'm someone it, it kind of gets to as well, and I've not been feeling fantastic over the last few months. You know, the latter half of this year has been pretty dreadful. Um, you know, for myself personally, I've not been feeling fantastic and not in the best of places. So I think now is kind of an opportune time to just kind of take a load off of one thing that I'm doing. So I know this seems like it might just be coming, f coming out of nowhere, but it has been kind of building up for a little while. You know, the channel is going to be six years old as of the end of March, and I've been as consistent as I can be with everything and slowly increasing the workload that I'm putting out over the years. And, you know, I know that the metal covers kind of took a little bit of a hit earlier in the year with my changing the upload schedule on those. Yeah, it's just maintaining this upload schedule has been kind of taxing and a lot of other stuff that I would have liked to have done over the last, you know, few years has really kind of taken a, you know, second place, I suppose. So the plan is from the 4th of January through to the end of the month, I'm not going to be doing or not going to be worrying too much about doing any gaming stuff, which does suck because I am playing some really good stuff and I'm really enjoying a lot of what I'm doing at the moment. But yeah, for, for those four weeks, I just want to take a bit of a break um, and just kind of relieve some stress, I suppose. In that space of time, there will be a metal cover going up. Um, it'll be towards the end of the month and then from the 1st of February, things should be back to normal. And I thought, you know, while I'm gone you know you might you guys might want to check out some you know other older let's plays maybe and i've compiled a little list of some stuff that i've really enjoyed um and uh, some of the ones that i've i feel are you know games that i've enjoyed the most over the years that i've been playing for stuff for the channel so i've got a few if you want to make a list of the or make a note of these and you can go and check them out for yourself uh I certainly say that they would be worth uh, in, you know, watching through and enjoying. If you're after some story-rich stuff, um, I'd highly recommend uh, Hellblade and Bioshock Infinite. Those have been two really good story-heavy games that I have absolutely loved over the, the years that I've been doing Let's Plays. I recently played back through Hellblade just to go on a bit of an achievement run and it still just hits home as hard as it did the first time I played it. It's such a wonderful experience. In a very weird way, you know, it's not exactly a happy game, but it's, it's definitely... Uh, it's, it's, there's just something about it. I can't quite put it into words, but that and Bioshock Infinite was, was just incredible especially with how it ties into the rest of the Bioshock universe and with the DLCs and stuff just utterly fascinating uh, game and really good fun to play through if you want some 
other kind of spookier stuff with some horrors. Uh, Resident Evil 7 was an absolute blast to play through. Alien Isolation was utterly fantastic. And all of the Outlast playlists that I've got, so for Outlast 1, the Whistleblower DLC, and Outlast 2, they've all been absolutely fantastic. And utterly loved those. They're, they're probably... I think Outlast 1 definitely is probably one of my favourite horror games. Absolutely phenomenal. So, you know, I'd highly recommend going and checking those out if you've been enjoying some of the horror content on here. And if you want some stuff that's just kind of fun, the original Escapist playlist is really good fun. There's also the Escapist 2, which, you know, is more recent, but, you know, there's a lot of videos in that if you want to go and have something to kind of keep yourself occupied throughout the month. And Papers, Please... Both seasons one and two were really good fun as well. Uh, those games were just so much fun. Absolutely enjoyed the hell out of all of them. I really need to go and replay some of those. So those are just a few things that you might want to go and check out while I'm gone. You know, obviously, you know, continuing to watch videos on here is going to help keep the channel afloat because I know with my not up uploading stuff, it could potentially, you know, tank the channel. I mean, obviously, a lot of the uh, metal covers still get, you know, quite a lot of traffic, which is good. It's going to help keep things afloat. But if you're looking to see some more gaming content, you know, do go and check those out. Be wary. Some of those playlists are quite old, so they're a little more uh, ropey than some of the current content that I've got going on. But I really am looking forward to just kind of like taking a bit of a break from things. You know, at the same time, I'm gutted because I do want to sit down and just keep making videos and keep doing stuff, but I do feel I could benefit from this and, you know, I'll just extend my thanks in advance for, you know, you guys still being here and for all the support you've given over the years. It's meant the absolute world, you know, to be able to just kind of entertain you guys is, is really good and to share my little adventures and share my music with you is just really good you know and there's, there's not many other ways that i can put that into words really because i'm terrible at kind of you know articulating my thoughts and putting you know, you know emphasizing my emotions and how much things mean you know but you now the support that you guys show through you know consistent you know support of the channel and especially to those of you supporting over on patreon it really really is humbling i couldn't have imagined you know the channel being as big as it is and it still grows on an almost daily basis you know even if it's just by one or two people and it's always a f phenomenal feeling. We're pushing on towards 3,000 subscribers here on the channel. 3,000 of you people is just... I can't quite picture what that looks like. You know, I, I, I know I've been to festivals where it's like, you know, several tens of thousands of people. But I can't picture, you know, if I were to have 3,000 people, you know, or two point whatever we're at, 2.6 something people, 2.6 thousand something people, not 2.6. Oh God, where did the other 0.4 per of that person go? Sven, what did you do with that other person? Where's the rest of them? He doesn't know. He's not gonna tell me. I think he's lying. <laughs> but yeah, I can't quite imagine what, what that many people looks like. It's, it's quite strange. But regardless, no, I'm immensely grateful for each and every one of you who has watched the video, liked it, commented, subscribed, and supported over on Patreon. You guys have been phenomenal, especially through this year. It's just wonderful to see things continue to go as well as they are. And I just hope that they continue to go that well and hopefully even improve in the coming years for however long I keep keep all this up but you know I, I got new ideas in mind you know I've got a lot of music stuff that I want to be doing and I've got some you know 
new stuff that I want to be doing as far as, you know, kind of like gaming kind of content goes. Uh, well, one solid idea anyway. And it's going to take a while for me to actually get it done, but I'm looking forward to spending some time to just kind of like fine tune the stuff that I'm doing with it, and hopefully it should be entertaining. In my head, it's the, probably the best thing I'm ever going to come up with, but it could also be the worst. So stay tuned and let me know what you think if and when it ever actually happens. Oh boy. But I've been waffling on far too long with this. I was only intending to make this about 10 minutes. Been recording for nearly twice that long. Maybe I can save it in the edit, who knows. Right, by the time you see this, I should have gone through at least a couple more bottles of this, so I should be suitably sloshed. That'd be nice. So you guys have a fantastic Christmas. I'll chat to you sometime soon. This is Captain Meat Shield signing off.